Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today we are going to talk about a Microsoft compatibility telemetry. So this is a service that people have been complaining recently that hogs up their RAM and uses up all their memory and so we are going to find a way to stop it today. So what you need to do first is go to your task scheduler. So you can go to your search bar here and type down task scheduler. So I'm going to explain it as I do it. Uh, you need to go to task scheduler library after this window open ups. Uh, you need to go into Microsoft under that and then Windows. Under there you will see three folders, one of which is called application experience. Uh, another one is auto check and the third one is customer experience improvement program. So what happens here is uh, this service that is Microsoft compatibility telemetry that uh, gathers all your data that how your operating system is working with the application that it uses and then sends this data to Microsoft. So as you can imagine all this data going to, to their servers uh, being sent uh, using your internet is going to impact your memory in some way. So what you need to do is go to your applic application experience uh, folder over here. Uh, select Microsoft compatibility appraiser, right click it and disable it. So that would be disabled. The next step you need to go is uh, auto check. Click on auto check. You will see a proxy here. Uh, it will show you a description that says this task collects and uploads auto check SQM data if opted into Microsoft customers experience improvement program. So you can just right click it and disable it. Then we need to go into the last one that is customer experience improvement program. Again click on the consolidator. You will see the description if user has consented to participate in the customer experience improvement program just right click it and disable. So this is how you stop uh, these processes from hogging up your RAM and your memory. So you might see them uh, coming back up, coming back online. So what you, whenever you want your RAM to be freed just go into the task scheduler, right click it and disable. Make sure you do not disable any of the other important services because these runs, uh, these things run a lot of the functionality that you are using on your operating system. So just click on the ones that I selected and uh, work carefully. So I hope this helped and if you like this video, click on the like button below and if you are new to the channel, click on the red subscribe button. Have a good one guys.